so it's August 31st and it's my first day of classes for my PhD I'm just like so excited y'all don't even know like so excited so excited I can't wait um, it's 8 30 in the morning technically my class is at 8 30 but it's Pacific time because um, I'm supposed to be in LA and not in Orlando but because of COVID and my school going online for the semester I was like let me save some money so that's why I'm here in Orlando still so let's hope for a great day I'm gonna have my quiet time with God and I have some coffee while doing that then I am going to read the article for the class maybe jot some notes down on the chapters maybe the introduction of the chapters and then um have a light brunch like i don't know probably some cornflakes i don't know i have no idea what i'm gonna eat um i'm not usually a breakfast person but i need to become a breakfast person um but besides that <laughs> first day of my PhD. this is amazing oh my goodness i'm just so excited oh thank you god thank you so much it's only thanks to him him up there so amen Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. All right, y'all. First day of class is about to start. Here we go. Journey to a PhD. Here we go. We're starting. <laughs> All right. Um, so class is starting in 15 minutes. So I'm about to go get some coffee, a refill of coffee. And then, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and record a bit. Um, I want to record a bit of class. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see. Because I have no idea how that's going to go. My hair needs to be uh, brushed a little bit more. Maybe a headband might be nice. Um, earrings for sure. Maybe some lipstick. And then we'll just get going. Ah! <laughs> So my name is Asanet, so yes, um, and I, I'm excited to start this class. I haven't had experience um, in archives much. I did some research for my master's um, at the British um, Archives, but I was not very good at it. So I want to get <laughs> much better at it than what I did. Um, it's I did okay enough to be able to write my dissertation but also about it. Uh, so I do, I am excited to learn more about the processes and the theory behind archives. Um, and I'm not sure what else, uh, I'm doing my PhD in history. All right, so now I'm about to log in to Zoom for my internship meeting. Um, we, it's just a check-in, I've been doing it since July. Um, and yeah, usually they don't take too long. Sometimes they do go a bit longer, but majority of the time, 20 minutes, 30 max. So let's go ahead and get started.
It's Tuesday, second day of my PhD, and I'm exhausted. I don't know why. Actually, yeah, I do know. I had a lot of meetings yesterday. <sighs> and I'm tired. I look like a hot mess. Literally just woke up. And I was looking at Instagram, and then I was like, you know what? Let me record like three seconds of this because I mean, they need to see the reality. I've hit snooze way too many times, but my class is not until 4 p.m., so it's okay. Well, technically it's 1 p.m., um, um, 1.10 uh, Pacific time, but of course I'm in Eastern time right now, so it's 4.10 p.m. So I have to wait a long time for my class, so yeah. All right, so my glasses broke. Um, well, they didn't break. Um, one of the little screw screws fell, um, so I have to deal with that. <laughs> um, and I have class in like five minutes, four minutes. So I'm about to log in, and we'll see how things go. All right, um, so I just finished my class. It is 6.21 right now. Um, class was supposed to be till six, but I really don't mind if we went over. Uh, to have classes in the, like my classes being in Pacific time and me being in Orlando, Eastern time, makes it hard. It really does because it makes your day so much longer because I have all morning and sometimes I don't do anything. Um, so I'm hoping that setting up a schedule as I am going to be doing today or tomorrow um, helps me figure out everything because yeah, it's gonna be long days. So yeah, that's it for today. Yeah, that's about it. Tomorrow I don't have classes. And then Thursday is my introduction to doing history and being a historian class at four o'clock. Same professor. So, excited. I have another presentation on that one too. Technically two presentations per class. Plus I have a presentation in my other class. So I have a lot of presentations. So yeah, that'll be fun. Yay! <coughs> <coughs> All right, so my class doesn't start till four and it's two. So let me go ahead and show you a bit of my planner and how I have set it up because that's the kind of thing you show on a blog, I guess. I have no idea. I'm winging this whole thing, guys. All right, so this is my beautiful planner by Beach Class Tracker. I'm loving it so far. So let's go ahead and go through it. So first page, then it has schedule, and I set it up in there. I put in my internship times in once I have my research assistantship information in, I'll be able to do that. Then I have my goals. I like this part about the the planner. Then I had last week's stuff, orientation, you know. And then yesterday, first day of school. <clears throat> so this is how it's set up. Um, it has the remember to, quizzes, exam papers, projects, assignments, and your daily plan. I personally like how it's set up. Um, of course, I didn't use the first few pages because I didn't have anything to do. And then this was last week with orientation. And this is September so far. Um, yeah. So, see? Class on Zoom. If I can get this to... There we go. Let's see? I have everything. My internship stuff is in there. And, yeah. There we go. I need to make sure this thing focuses. So yeah, um, most of September is set up. I haven't finished the last few of September, but I'm working on it. And this is what it looks like, you know? Assignments. 
I've already started getting those set up. More assignments. I only have a few assignments due in November. And then the majority are in October and then December. Four assignments in December, two in November. And then, oh, I have to put my... Um, I have one more thing that I have to do in October. So October, definitely the busiest month I'm going to have. So if I'm going to do anything, I'll probably want to, if I want to do anything fun, I have to do it in November because it's empty. Look, I just have my editorial and my ethics case. That's all I have to do in November from what I remember. And then, of course, December finals. More editorial boards, research paper, analytical paper, and finding aids. Um, and then I have some stickers that I've used so far. I bought them at Michael's. They were on sale. And since I like stickers so much, I decided to just go ahead and get them. They were like two bucks, maybe, the set of them. So, yeah, that's the planner. Uh, yeah, so I'll update you guys once like a few minutes before class starts so so i'm about to start my third class this week it's the first time we're meeting as a class so this is going to be the class that ends my first week of my first semester of my first year of my phd ah exciting so yeah my let's see maybe we'll get to record something um so yeah <laughs> So the first week of classes is done. Just fi we'll finish my class earlier today. Um, around six-ish approximately we finished. Um, now I just have to do lots of reading. And yeah, cut, make sure that I'm caught up with everything and making sure that my readings are a week ahead, which is what I'm trying to do. So we'll see how that works out. But yeah, exciting. Alright everyone, so it's Friday. It's been a pretty chill day. I don't have any coursework to do, but I, well, not coursework, but just re um, classes. Um, so I'm going to get reading today um, and doing some annotations and stuff like that. Mm, just been in bed all day pretty much. Didn't even want to cook. So yeah, so that was my first week. Not very exciting. Today, at least. All the other days, super exciting. But today, pretty boring. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to record every week a little bit. And just put, like, updates every so often. Don't count on me to do it because I will probably get really busy and forget. So, we'll see. But for now, thank you for watching. Hopefully, um... This was a bit interesting. I know it usually isn't that interesting to hear someone talk about what they do every day. But since it's first week of doing things online as a grad student, first year PhD is, I feel it might have been nice. I know that I've been looking around all over YouTube for videos of grad students starting their year out and how it looks like for everyone. I know for me, I'm in the East Coast, but my school is in the West Coast, so I'm three hours ahead of all my classes. So, yeah. Uh, it's been an interesting week, and I just hope it doesn't look that bad, because, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyways, that was for the update, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye, y'all. Thank you.